Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to learn about electric potential. Okay, so electric potential which is represented by V, capital V. Right? If you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon to get video notifications from my channel. Right, so what is uh, uh, electric potential? So before that, we'll consider a origin here, right? O, which is origin. And let us consider two points. One is A and the other is B. Okay, so I'm considering two points. One is A, which is at the uh, distance of RA from origin and another point B which is at a distance of RB from origin. Okay, so let there be a charge Q here at point A. Okay, at point A Q, uh, at point A there is a charge of Q. Okay, so electric field is in this direction. Okay, so this is the direction of electric field okay so this is e bar so if you want to in the presence of this electric field if you want to move this uh, unit test charge so suppose q is unit test charge from a to b so how we are going to do that so you want to move that from a to b like this so what you are doing here so you are doing the work right so you are doing some work that is work is done so how is the work uh, doing if you are moving the charge from a to b so how you are doing you are doing or if the electric field is in this direction you are doing the work in the its opposite direction okay so work is done against the field again as to the field this is the first point which you have to remember okay so second if you uh, have an electric field e so in the presence of this electric field in presence of electric field the uh, in the presence of this electric field the force required f bar is equal to q e this is again from coulomb's law okay so from coulomb's law we have f bar is equal to q e right so when f bar is equal to q e in this situation right so what will be the work done suppose they consider a small length here okay so a small length i am considering it as dl okay so what will be dw dw is equal to minus f bar dot dl bar okay so rate of work done is equal to this dw because work is equal to we know that work is equal to force into displacement okay so work is equal to force into displacement so dw is equal to minus f bar dot d bar so what is f bar again f bar is equal to qe so dw is equal to minus uh, sorry minus qe bar dot dl bar so what does this minus sign represents work is done against the field so work is done against the field okay so this that is what the negative sign represents right so when uh, uh, you are moving the charge from a to b from a to b so what will be the work done so dw w is equal to minus integral a to b minus integral a to b q into e bar dot dl bar okay so work is done again is the when you have uh, like this 
right so q e bar dot d l bar so where a is the initial point here a stands for the initial point and b stands for the final point okay so a stands for initial point and b stands for the final point so q is a constant you can take it out so w is equal to minus q integral a to b e bar dot dl bar okay so this is the work done okay so this is the formula for work done by the charge in moving the point charge q from a to b okay so what is potential electric potential electric potential or potential difference we'll also call this as potential difference electric potential or potential difference is defined as is defined as work done work done per unit charge okay so work done per unit charge is called electric potential that is w by q so v a b v a b is equal to w by q okay so w by q which is equal to minus integral a to b e bar dot dl bar this is the formula for electric potential okay or potential difference v a b is equal to in minus integral a to b e bar dot dl bar okay so units units for potential or holes okay so units for work done is joules work done is joules and units for potential difference is volts right so what is vab so vab is the potential difference okay vab is the potential difference between points a and b okay so v vab is the potential difference between the points a and b okay so i'll just revise it so consider a uh, origin here and consider two points a and b which are at distances r a and r b respectively okay from the origin and electric field will be in this direction so if you want to move a charge from a to b you have to do some work okay so by doing work only we will we can move the charge from uh, at unit charge or a test charge from a to b okay so this movement this movement is opposite to the direction that is orthogonal to the direction of electric field okay so work done is again is the field right so in this case the force required is given by qe from coulomb's law and hence so work done is equal to force into displacement so i am considering the displacement as dl okay for a small length dl right so total length will be ab okay so total length will be this b minus a okay so total length if you calculate it will be rb minus ra only right so i am considering for a differential length so f bar dot dl bar so d bar f bar is equal to this so w is equal to you'll get like this minus q into e bar dot dl bar and electric potential or potential difference is defined as work done per unit charge okay so this is the definition of electric potential so electric potential is defined as work done per unit charge so vab is equal to w by q which is equal to minus a to b minus of integral a to b e bar dot dl bar so what is vab vab is the potential difference between the points a and b okay so now we have got v ab is equal to minus integral a to b 
a bar dot dl bar okay so consider right so consider a point charge q a point charge q at origin okay if there is a point charge q at origin okay so if there is a point charge q at origin and there are two points here a which is at a distance of r a and there is another point b which is at a distance of r b and you are moving the charge from a to b okay in this direction right so if there is a point charge q here okay and the test charge q is here so due to point charge what is electric field intensity it is q by 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught r square into ar cap okay so then what will be vab vab is equal to minus integral a to b minus integral a to b q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square ar cap into dl so what is dl so dl is the differential length okay so here what is changing only the distance is changing so r is changing right so dl is equal to dl is equal to dr ar cap only this is changing okay so dr into ar cap so vab is minus integral a to b q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square dr okay so integration is with respect to r okay so point a point a is a distance of r a okay so point a is a di distance of r a so the limit is now here r a right and here the limit is r b so minus sign will be there and so we have q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square dr so this becomes uh, q by q by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant you can write outside minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught you can write outside integral r a to r b 1 by r square dr okay so therefore v a b is equal to now tell me what will happen minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught so minus 1 by r square its integration is minus 1 by r okay limits are from r a to r b so minus into minus will become plus so this minus and this minus will become plus so it will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by r b minus 1 by r a okay so it will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught r b minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught r a okay so this is v a b so v a b so this is totally this total term is v b that is potential difference or potential at point b okay so v b is potential at point b minus v a that is potential at point a okay so v a b is equal to v b minus v a okay so then even though electric field is a vector quantity v a b we are obtaining as a scalar quantity so therefore what can we conclude is electric potential electric potential is a scalar quantity okay so electric potential is a scalar quantity okay so due to point charge so due to a point charge this is a single point right q by 4 pi epsilon naught r b is v b that is at point b right so due to point charge the electric potential is given by q by 4 pi epsilon naught r right if you calculate at b it becomes r b yes or no so if you calculate at b it becomes r b if you calculate at a it becomes r a okay i am removing that so generally v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r volts okay so this is due to point charge 
due to point charge okay suppose if you have uh, uh, an origin here right so if you have uh, point P okay so point P here at a distance of R bar at a distance of R bar and there is another point here okay from origin there is another point here at a distance of R1 bar okay so let this be point be A okay so and uh, the charge is present here and the charge is present here so we need to move the charge from A to P okay so what is the potential difference at point P he will ask you right so what is the potential at point P so V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught is same right only this R changes in this case only R changes because in the previous case when you are considering point charge what you have considered is only this so P is here and this is origin okay so this is the point charge here and R is in so distance is R here the distance is R so directly we have considered Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into R okay so directly the charge is presented q and uh, the distance between the charge and the point where you want to find the potential is p okay distance is directly r so you have written q by 4 pi epsilon naught r but in this case the it is not the case so the charge is not at origin it is at a distance of r1 bar from origin and you want to cal uh, calculate the potential at the uh, point p so in this case what will happen so it will be 1 by modulus of r bar minus r1 bar okay so this is the two things which you have to remember so this is one formula this is for point charge so this is the case for point charge and if the charge is at a, at a distance of r1 bar from origin okay and you want to calculate the potential at point p which is at a distance of r bar from r is in then pot potential is given by the formula q by 4 pi epsilon naught into r bar minus r1 bar is again this is magnitude right so we are keeping it as magnitude so when you are keeping it magnitude you will get here a scalar quantity only okay so always vector uh, sorry uh, uh, this potential is a scalar quantity only suppose if you have uh, uh, n points right so suppose if you have n point charges q1 uh, q2 so on up to qn okay with position vectors uh, r1 bar r2 bar so on rn bar right so if you want to uh, find the potential find the Pot the potential at point P which is at a distance of which is at a distance which is at a distance of R bar from origin is given by now tell me what is the total potential V is equal to so first of all Q1 due to Q1 Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught right Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by modulus of R bar minus R1 bar plus due to Q2 Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by modulus of R bar minus R2 bar plus so on right plus due to Qn Qn by 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by modulus of r bar minus r n bar okay so if you want to write in summation form we can write it as summation uh, k is equal to so before summation you can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught outside right so it is a constant you can write it outside 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught summation k is equal to 1 to n q k by modulus of r bar minus r k bar 
okay so that means potential also obeys superposition principle okay so electric potential also obeys superposition principle the potential due to n point charges is equal to the sum of the individual potentials right so here the important point which you have to remember is VAB is equal to VB minus VA VB minus VA this is what we have got here right so VAB is equal to VB minus VA thus what can we say is electrical electric potential okay so electric potential is independent of path is independent of path but depends on but depends on end points but depends on end points that is where you are uh, you are, where you are going to move the charge so from which point to which point so end points means initial point and final point okay so it does not depend on the path you are taking so you can take this path okay or you can take this path like this or you can move the charge like this okay so it is independent of the path okay so it depends only on the end points from which point to which point you are moving the charge again is the field is more important than the type of path you have chosen right so with all these points we'll conclude this video right so if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment section i'll uh, clarify all your doubts okay